All right, and in today's episode, we're going to be learning about remote activation and virtuals. So what is remote activation? Remote activation allows you to activate a particular thing. So let's go to slide position one. We'll go to remote activation. And you can physically turn on something without actually turning it on. So if we really wanted to, we could actually turn slide position on, slide, pos slide position three on while only being on slide position one. Why would you want to do that? I have no idea, but you can. Virtuals are virtual relays. Um, they can physically activate something, but I would personally use this to save a lot of time with slide positions. There's other stuff we can do with them and we'll learn about them in the future. But for now, let's talk about how we can save time when it comes to setting up virtuals rather than actually setting them up individually every time. So first we're gonna click virtual one. We are gonna go to relays and we're gonna actually activate the micro pulses in the rear. Uh, not steady, we're gonna hit it to single 60, single 60. And we're gonna set the one on the passenger side to phase 180 so they alternate like we did in the, uh, believe the second video. Then we are going to go to virtual two, which turns on the front micro pulses on the license plate. So we have virtual one, which does the rear, virtual two that does the front. Now to be more specific, we'll do, we'll rename it and we'll do front license plate. And we're going to keep everything the same, push on and off. We don't care about any buttons or sounds like that. Then we're going to go to virtual two and type in rear license plate. All right. Now we're going to go to slide position one. We're going to go and I already disabled all the relays, so nothing to really see there now, but all the relays are disabled. Um, on the slide positions. Uh, an easy way to actually disable them is actually just right click. If you right click it, just disables everything, gets rid of it. So anyways, slide position one, what we wanted is we want our rear license plate to be on. Slide position two, we want our rear license plate and front license plate. And slide position three, we want our rear and our front on and the siren is automatically on. You don't need to make a virtual for that. You, while you could, there's not really too much reason for that um, in this case, unless you wanted to get really fancy. And we'll go over that in future advanced videos. Right now, we're only covering the basics. So on remote activation, we have slide position one turning on the rear, slide position two turning on the rear and front, and slide position three as the same. Now. You have to make sure that you do this or it will stay on forever. On slide position one, we have an on setting. Now we go to off. So that's how we know when our slider leaves slide position one, regardless if it goes to slide position two or off, it theoretically, no matter what slide position one, it has left. So on slide position one, on the off position, we need to turn the rear license plate lights off then on slide position two we need to do the same we need to turn the front and the rear off on slide position three we also need to do the same we need to turn these both off and that's so when you're like i said moving on the slide position it knows to turn it off and on so it doesn't matter if you're going from slide position one and two it technically is going to turn it off for a second, but it'll turn it back on. This is how you save a lot of time. So if you have things that are going to be um, ra rather than changing entire patterns between slide position one through three, you have just more things turning on. This would be an excellent example of something you would want to set up on virtuals where you can just turn them on this way and that way. You can even set a button up if you really wanted to. Let's say button eight, for example, you wanted to turn on the front light yeah the front license plates for whatever reason only that you didn't want to turn on the rest of your equipment 
through the slide positions. You just wanted something, one thing on. You could do it that way, and you'd also have to do it that way. So when the button's unpressed, it toggles off. We're not going to set that because we don't want that. So now that everything's set correctly, we're going to go to program device. And it's in a program and so forth. Everything should work exactly the way, you, the way you programmed it. It should save you a lot of time and you won't have to continuously every slide switch. You're like, oh, I only got to do this and this. This can be very helpful again for people who have um, agencies or vehicles that have a lot of individual light heads. So if you don't have anything like an, an ILS or FS join or anything like that, and you have a lot of individual light heads like I do, then you're going to want to do something like this so you can save yourself a lot of time when you want to individually activate certain things. It can save you a lot of time without having to go through every single slide switch and rinse and repeat and do this every time. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll try to get back to you. Uh, thanks again, and... Let's uh, wait for the next video.